What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here. Y'all know it's been a while, man, but y'all know how the schedule is with school and football and stuff going on. Guys, in today's video, I'm going to be expounding on RPOs in the Veer and Shoot. Haven't really covered that, and we're going to go over one really good formation that can get you started, and we'll teach you how to read the defense, guys. But at first, let's give a shout out to our sponsor for today's video. Thanks to U4GM sponsorship, they are pro and legit web with over 6,400 comments on Trustpilot, offering cheap college football 25 coin with instant delivery and 100% safe. If you're interested, check the link in the description and use my coupon code DM for 5% off. All right, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. Don't be a point extra. Get out of the portal, click that subscribe button, turn on that bell icon so you don't miss a single upload of what we got going on. So. I am using Texas, of course, because, you know, Longhorns. So the formation that we're going to start out in, all right, I've showed y'all the stack formation out of beer and shoot, okay? The formation that we'll be going out of is gun, wide, bunch, okay? And the play is going to be the very first one that pops up, that RPO zone alert, okay? So I'm going to pick that play. We're going to run that several times, and I'm just going to do a random play for the defense for realism, all right? So... What I'm looking for, okay, you're looking at several different things. Number one, you're looking at the distance that the defenders are from your receivers, okay? So on the left side, okay, you have pretty good spacing, about an eight, nine-yard spacing uh, between your receiver. I got Boyd out there. And, um, and on the other side, you're looking at the spacing over there as well. Cook, Golden, man. These Longhorn receivers, bro, I'm telling you. So right off top, I know that I could throw the RPO to, I'm going I'm to call it the strength, to the left side. That's available. One-on-one, -on -one, try to make that guy miss, get two or three yards a pop. It's also going to be available to throw to the right side just because of spacing. However, what I want to point out is pre-snap reads on this is that there's three on that side, Okay. So generally, I don't want to throw to that side. We're going to go to the single receiver side, play action. That corner drops back. Look at that spacing one-on-one. -on -one. I'll take that every time, five yards a pop. What's going to end up happening is those guys are going to start pressing at some point. See, same formation, same alignment, corner drops back. We'll throw it over there again, okay? I wish in practice mode they let you tic-tac down the field. All right? Now, oh, whoa, they're pressing. What do I do if they're pressing? Option bets are off. No RPOs here. I can hand the ball off, but guys, we're looking to throw the ball in this, okay? What do you do in the beer and shoot? If they are pressing in the beer and shoot, you go all goes. So I'm audibling. I'm pressing L1 for all goes. Somebody's going to be open, okay? Snapping the ball. I'm looking at that safety over the top. Bond is there. I got to kind of put it where he can't get it, but you kind of get the point of it, okay? So hope they're pressing in yes they are pressing again now look over the top look to the right side of the of the bunch receiver side they have four guys over there the screen is out the question the the fade is out of the question but i still want to trick all goes now what i didn't mention on the last play is i'm now looking at this safety on the left side if he sinks one on one I threw it on the last time he dropped. I forgot to pay attention to him. But that's that's my target. That's my ideal target. Now, to give me time for this to develop, because it could also come open on the bunch side, I want to change my pass coverage. Because you see right now, uh, C.J. Baxter is going to be blocking and releasing. I don't want him to do that. I need him picking up everybody. So I'm going to go max protect on this play. Okay? Max protect. Now, I'm watching the safety on my left side. He does drop back in coverage, but look at that one-on-one -on -one right there. Touchdown. We throwing dots, baby. Yes, sir. Mr. Cook right there. So I want to show that in instant replay to kind of show what I'm looking at here. So on this play side, now this is if in this one formation, and guys, and this is one play, okay? So in this one play, I can, I can audible into a pass play, but... I got a press on the corner right here, but I'm paying attention to this safety right here. If this safety doesn't drop, which he, he drops on this play, I mean, could I have thrown that? It's going to be on the money, okay? I probably could have thrown that to the back of the end zone, but, you know, it's kind of not ideal for me particularly. Now, we have four guys on three over here, but 
look at this right here. That one-on-one -on -one right there. Hey, and you just put it where he can get it. That's a one-on-one. -on -one. Take those shots because I'm going to tell you what's going to end up happening is um, is you're going to start completing those. All right, I got three in the boundary or three to the bunch side. They're pressing on that side also. Okay, and then now on the back side or on the left side, He's playing off. I can run the RPO right here, which guys, and you might say, DM, why are you not showing the run out of this? Because running is easy. It's harder to pass the ball out of this, okay? And so he's backed off, okay? So guess what? I got one high safety and he is very deep, okay? So what I'm going to do, I want to try to get a one-on-one -on -one with the press. So I am going to audible to all goes, okay? And then I, because I have two linebackers in the box, okay, I have five down linemen, four, five, six defenders. I want to make sure I check my pass protection right here, okay? So now we check to max protect, and I'm looking for, I'm looking for golden again on the outside right there on this fade route. Cook hopefully takes, uh, because if you look at golden, I'm sorry, that's golden on the inside. I'm looking for um, boulder. Boulder on the inside should pull that safety. Let's just see it. Snap of the ball, drops back. I got the one-on-one -on -one right there. Touchdown. I knocked it away. Texas has some good DBs, but you get the just of what I'm saying. Looking at that in instant replay, like I said again, I'm looking for him to take this safety away. All right? And then I'm I, what I'm looking for on this is a one-on-one -on -one right here. They're pressing uh, Cook at the line. I got the one-on-one -on -one I needed. The ball was put in a good spot. Probably could have got a little bit more air on it right there. That's just good coverage, man. It is what it is. And then looking on the play side, he was covered like a blanket. You got to take your shots. You're not going to hit all of them, okay? So now they're off, okay? And there's three guys over there. That's fine. I'm going to give it on the run this time. That's what the run looks like, okay? Nothing, nothing spectacular. Run is kind of your last resort. All right, now, special occasion. I'm so glad they did this. And you see they're in a cover three shell. They're playing uh, off of a uh, bond over there. I'm not looking at that. Look at the advantage we have to the bunch side. I have two against, I have three of my guys against two of their guys. That is a automatic throw, the RPO right there. Because now, look, I have two blockers right there. And I can scoot, scoot, get up the field. You get what I'm saying? That is what I'm looking at here. So the key to that, though, is you could throw that quickly, but since they're pressing, I want them to get time to run run those guys off, if that makes sense. So I want to I want to ride that RPO. I didn't ride it as long as I could right here. You can see uh, Queen Ewers in the in the in the background here. I could have rode that a little bit longer, but we get that ball over there. I have one blocker. I have two blockers, and you get about five to six yards. Sometimes you get even more than that, and I'm gonna show you a way that you can do that. Now looking over here. I have my three receivers in the bunch to the right, but they have three defenders over there. But I want you to look at that overhanging backer right there. That is still an advantage to us, okay? And what I'm going to do, actually, no, I couldn't do that pass right on this right here. We're going to throw that RPO to that side right there. See, they sink. I throw it. He's coming one-on-one. -on -one. Ah, that's me. That's my fault. I got on the turbo button too soon. And I wasn't able to move like I wanted to. But you can see how it's there. They bring this guy in right here. So this is still an advantage to us because he's far away from the ball at this point. Okay. And they actually bring a blitz right there. We throw it. And I didn't give my receiver time right. See, I hit the speed button too soon. I should have cut inside of that and broke for another 5 to 10 yards. All right. But this is what you're looking for. Okay. Now they're pressing to bond side and i love that they're mixing this up right here so i don't have to go through a bunch of plays to show this off but to the trips bunch side they're backed off i have two options okay i can check all go okay i, I can check all go right here now my my target is not uh the trips bunch on this formation because they're backed off if i want to throw that i'm gonna have to check my pass protection to where my my running back is blocking because i'm gonna need more time for that play to develop notice they have two high safeties okay so what i can do right here because i'm doing this because i got a one-on-one -on -one press with bond i need to tie up that safety somehow okay so what i'm gonna do that linebacker is to the back side i'm gonna check my running back uh to run a texas route 
All right, but I want to motion him to the other side here. See how that safety goes. And then that defensive back right there, uh, the linebackers, they move. There's movement there. OK, they're kind of showing their hand in the secondary as well. I don't want that because that tells me that the, that motion backer right there is going to be covering the running back. OK, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to motion him back. OK, so that tells me that that safety more than likely isn't coming down. He's probably going to stay back to help uh, cover this one on one. So let's see if that plays out. Yep, he, he drops back. Put it on the money when it's like that. OK, put it on the money when it's like that. He showed his hand a little bit with the motion so we can see that he's not coming down. He is in coverage. He just widened out his coverage, but that's fine. OK, if he wants to sit back, if we beat him off the ball right there, he doesn't drift to my wide receiver. So put it in there. You can't lob that ball. I got to I got to drill that one in there. Hey, it ain't a touchdown, but we we getting yardage. Does that make sense? All right. Everybody's playing off. Look at the right side here. Three against two, essentially. OK, and they're playing off. So guess where we're going? We're going with the RPO over there. Ride, throw it get upfield. Ah, I should have cut a little bit sooner than that. But it's all good. We're getting positive yards. I don't think we've got a loss yet. They're pressing on both sides. You see the coverage shell, the cover one. Okay, so I want to check, check, check. I want to go all goals. Cover one safety over there. All right, let's try to see if we can uh, hold this safety right here. Let's see what the safety does. He motions out. That's fine. He's in a cover one as well. I'm going to keep it just like that, guys. Snap of the ball. Safety hangs a little bit too long. Ah, man. Ball hanging air a little bit too long on that. Let me check the backside to see what we could have had because we had all goals on that side too. All right. They bring their diamond down. Yeah. That was covered all the way around. And, it, and it's like that sometimes. It's like that sometimes. All right. Check, check, check. I got one-on-one -on, -one on the outside over here. Let me uh, put, put my receiver on a route here my running back see what my safeties do they slide out i'm gonna leave them right there maybe i can hold that safety let's see snap the ball Ooh, the safety drifts to the middle of the field touchdown and i mean guys if you practice that then you're gonna see you're gonna start to see that stuff quicker so already okay already oh man i should have ran that they had two dbs on that side against my three literally that's with one play one play, the zone, the RPO zone alert screen with one play, guys, I had so many options. Now, defensively, they're running a 4-2-5. And look, they got two guys over there snapping the ball. I'm going to ride my guy right here, throw it to him. Hey, two to three yards a pop. Eventually, they're going to start pressing once you keep completing these. And then guess what we do? We hit them over the top. Okay, see, they're playing off right here, snapping the ball. The corner drifts. I'm going to throw it. I'm going to get five to six yards, get out of bounds. Don't take unnecessary hits. This is a tic-tac kind of deal right here. See, they're still playing off, but look at that. Ooh, I got one guy over there against two. Somebody's probably coming on a blitz. Snap the ball. Oh, they drift. That is perfect. I like it. Give me that yardage, baby. See, we're going up-tempo. We're going fast right here. They're pressing. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. The safety is on the hash. I'm going to leave him there, okay? But I am going to put my uh, my running back to uh, run a route right here, Okay. And we're going to move him to this side just to hold that safety. See that linebacker widens out? That's not a problem. Snap the ball, hut. The safety drifts. I got the one-on-one. -on -one. That's all day, baby. Ah, cornerback makes a good play right there. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, they're pressing on the play side, but I have two on the back side. I'm going to leave this just as is and throw this screen over here or the RPO. Options, options everywhere. Look at, oh, my goodness, dog. And this is out of one play, my guy. One play. Look at the lineman splits right here. So I have two guys to the to the trip side. I can throw that on the other side. He's five yards off. I'm not looking for that. OK, but look at the lineman splits right here. OK, I'm giving this. Give it, give it, give it. Let your running back get some yards right there. OK, look at that huge gain on the play, dog. And this is on Heisman difficulty. All right. We got three very deep safeties. They're playing in the prevent. That's perfectly fine. We'll throw the RPO. OK, they're not going to do that in the game unless it's like victory formation kind of deal. So but it's still just to give you a look, a look at a lot of different things. I got a linebacker walking down right here. Check, check, check. We're going to throw the RPO because the trips bunch side. We only got two guys over there. Ride the fake. Throw the screen. There we go. Get upfield. Hey, 
They, they can't always be home run hitters. All right. He's pressing on that side. I have two on that side. The linemen are bunched up. We're going RPO to the trip side. He blitzed on that. Make a guy miss. Stay in bounds. Ah, there we go. I'm telling you, and this is just out of one play, my guy. This is out of one play, man. Look at that. Two on that side. Alert, alert. That corner blitzing. Check, check, check. Throw it. Get inside. Get back outside. Skit, skit. Stiff arm. Get out of bounds. There we go. Look at that, man. This is a work of art, dude. I love the veer and shoot. He's pressing on that side. The safety is inside of the hash. Okay, so that tells me that he may be going out for, uh, he may be drifting outside. So we're going to check that with the motion by the by the running back. Oh, my goodness. Look at that right there. Yes, sir. We're going to put him on a Texas route just to, uh, actually, let's put him on a post so he can hold that play side safety over here. We should get a one-on-one -on -one with Bond. Snap the ball, drops back. Look at that, the post right there. He drifts. We hit the post. Let's go. Let's go. Killing them with kindness, baby. Look how far off they are. I could throw to Bond right here. I'm not going to give it to the running back because the box is freaking loaded. I can't run all goes because they're playing so far off. But to the trips bunch side, that safety's so far off. I got to go with the quick screen. He even comes down on this, but that's fine. Look at that. Screw, screw, touchdown, baby. Let's go. This is all out of one play, guys. It, it, you're not going to be wrong in this. Two on the trips bunch side. The box is loaded. That's an automatic throw the rpo okay i'm reading it i'm reading it i'm reading it this is money right here and this is just from one play guys last play right here they're pressing to that side i got two backed off on the other side i can pretty much assure you that that safety is going to be drifting on this play okay so i, I want to go the fast screen but i i, I want to play with the defense a little bit okay i want to play with the defense let's go number four let's go baxter who did get hurt i think he's out for the season too by the way in real life all right let's put him in motion let's see what they do he's widening out but you know what that's fine we'll leave it like that if he if the safety safety's gonna have to make a choice between bond and baxter right here so snapping the ball he chooses baxter oh i didn't put enough air on that we was too tight on that side anyway check two on that side we're going to the screen on the rpo nobody at home screw, screw, get off me ah it's on heisman i forgot i can't just juke everybody all right, last play right here. I promise this is the last one. Regular play right here, RPO. They're, they're a little bit tight to the trips bunch side, but look how far off he is to the single receiver side. We are going to give it because we saw the corner come down on that play that would have been an interception. Never throw that. And guys, the more that you run this, because you may say, dude, how are you seeing that out of the veer and shoot when everybody's not on the screen? Um... At the snap of the ball, that corner comes down. Never, If you see that corner come down, never throw that. You will throw an interception every time if you throw that, okay? And then looking to the, the trips bunch side, see, that wasn't open, okay? So once I see that corner coming down, it's an automatic give. He just did a good job of making that first man miss, okay? So, guys, I hope that this has been helpful. Once again, uh, the, the formation, the playbook that I'm using that I love to use so much is the veer and shoot. Uh, I, I used to run like 85% out of the wide stack, but man, I have widened out this playbook because I've learned to understand this beer and shoot so much. It is so much fun that I barely even use wide stack anymore. Uh, wide bunch is something that I use. Next, we'll do a video on wide trips. Okay. And then there is another one here. Wide slot right week, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Uh, yes, wide slot right week. We'll cover that one as well. So guys, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. That's all I got for right now, man. Till next time, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.